Hey guys, what is going on? I have another video to share with all of you, and this one's on how to update or install Android Nougat 7.0 or Android Nougat. I'm not certain of how you guys are pronouncing that. It may depend on where you live. I'm going with Android Nougat 7.0 on your Nexus device. So this will work on the Nexus 5X, the Nexus 6, the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 9. And if you guys are rooted, you will lose root because this is the manual way to flash the Google Nexus factory images that were recently released for Android Nougat. If you haven't gotten your OTA updates yet, this is a quick way of installing it on your device. And once you do install this on your device, you will still receive your future OTA updates. So let's jump over here and move along. I'm using a Windows 10 computer to do this video tutorial on and I have the Google Nexus 6 phone here running well currently running Android Marshmallow so the first thing you want to do is go to Google and Google Nexus factory images and that'll take you to this official page this is where you want to get your images because they are trustworthy I would say they're not going to be corrupt or they shouldn't be and right when you get on this page you will see this big red writing warning thing telling you to back up or sync all your data to your Google account or get it off your phone because doing this process is kind of involved and it will wipe out your stuff and you'll lose your data so back everything up so what you do on here is you scroll down in the list find your device which will be listed there and there's a nexus 6p 5x and here's a nexus 6. so in this list all the way at the bottom is where you will find the most up-to-date firmware the latest firmware for your device there is seven android nougat seven for my device so i click this link and that downloads the factory firmware to my computer i downloaded that it's going to download it should download as a compressed file so i downloaded it to a folder on my desktop i created called nexus 6 7.0 this is what mine looks like yours may look like a little yellow folder with a zipper but it depends on what zip program you're using i will have links in my description for you guys to click on to go download the stuff i use if you want to this program is called winrar which makes it look like a little stack of books and there's another one called 7-Zip. So what you do is you right click on that, choose extract here. That will create a new folder extracting out all the, well, basically all the firmware files we need for the operating system. Now what you do and how I do this guys is I downloaded this called Android Studio. And you can download platform tools separately, but I download the whole studio because I work with it a little bit. And I created a shortcut to my desktop called platform tools. And there's all my platform tools. What you want to do is highlight all those, click copy, paste those into the folder you created with the other files that you extracted. So once you get all those in there, you're all good to go. Real quick, I'll show you guys where I got my platform tools from once you download Android Studio. So you want to go on your computer to your main hard drive, go to where it says users, go into your user account. You should see a folder here that's a little grayed out, and it says app data. You double click that, go into local, go into Android, SDK, there's platform tools. So they are in there. Some people do not see this folder right here because originally, if you go to view in your little explorer here and go to options, the folder options are right here, but if you click view and choose do not show hidden files, folders and drives and apply that, you can see that that app data folder has now disappeared. So some of you on your Windows computers are going to have to go in to click show hidden files and folders and watch on the screen. If I click apply, app data pops right up. So that's one way to go in and find your, go right in here and find your platform tools. Okay, again, I just made a shortcut to the desktop. So here I'm already on, on my uh, platform tools. So let me bring up the phone. Again, Nexus 6. Uh, this is all stock right now. Just go into your phone settings. Next thing you want to do is look for developer options. And usually you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and that's usually listed here. If you don't see that listed on your phone, you don't have it enabled. So choose About Phone. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see your build number at the bottom. Tap that, say five to seven times. It'll say you are now a developer, just click back. There's your developer options now, it added them right in. So just select it, make sure it's turned on, come down the list, choose OEM unlocking, make sure that's turned on, and also turn on, uh, turn on USB debugging. So you'll get a little prompt there, it just helps the phone communicate with the computer. Turn that on, and then close out of that, 
should have a little notification up there at the top. Bring that down. It says uh, touch for more options. Go in there. And in here it says MTP. File transfer. Select that. Okay. So now the phone should pretty much be set up. The other thing I want to check is device manager because sometimes when I do this it says waiting on device. Let me go in here and make sure. Yep, everything looks good. So we should be okay to go ahead and open up your command window now. So the way I do this is I find, again, I'm working in this folder where I moved all the files. I hold the shift key down on the keyboard and I right click and find in this dialog open command window here. I select that. Once I get that up, I run something called ADB devices. Make sure you type it exactly like that and use spaces. Hit enter. And on the phone, if I bring that up, you'll see over here, real quick in the command window, it shows serial number, it says unauthorized. You, you should get a notification on your screen, something about RSA key, basically, I believe it's just another layer of security. Choose always allow and click OK. So you should be, that should be fine now. Then what you do is run that. I always run it again. ADB devices one more time just to see it come through and look normal like this. Serial number device. Now we're all good. Now what you want to do is get into the bootloader. So run ADB space reboot bootloader. Hit enter. That should boot the phone from the home screen into the bootloader. Next thing you guys want to do is... If I bring up the phone, I don't know where you guys are at in this process, and that's the tricky part. I'm not knowing where everybody's at. But down here it says device is locked. You have to be in an uh, unlocked mode in order to flash the phone. Okay, so what you have to do is type in uh, fast boot OEM unlock. Make sure it's typed exactly like that. And you should get a warning message that popped up on my phone telling you it's going to erase all your user data so at this point you know your phone wasn't erased yet but from here going forward it will erase everything so it says press power key to continue and that's what i'm going to do is press the power key and then of course let's look again it gives us another pop-up and it tells us about the bootloader and you're doing this at your own risk use the volume keys and select yes unlock bootloader it says may void warranty but if you guys do this correctly there should be no issues so I'm just going to go ahead and choose yes. Now, you can see the status has changed to unlocked right there. Okay. So let me minimize that again. All you guys got to do now, we're pretty much ready to go. You can either come over here and this file right here, you can double click this file to execute the command and it'll start the install process. Or you can type that command into the command window. What I'm going to do is double click this and you can see it start going. Watch the phone down there. It does stuff. It flashes here and there. What this is going to do is go through and write the new operating system or the new firmware into there. And if everything goes right, it should go down through and complete everything and finish. So it takes a little bit. But once we get everything done and we exit out of this and reboot, we should be back. We should be booting to the welcome screen, basically, but back, you know, to the welcome screen. And then that'll be Android Nougat 7.0. Okay, guys, so there it is. It got to the end. You can see down there there's a little lock on the, or a little, un, it's actually unlocked. But that little lock at the bottom means bootloader's unlocked. So here we are at the end. It says, press any key to exit. So let me hit any key. All right, we're out. Close out all that, bring up the device. Okay, guys, so here we are back at the home screen. There's Android Nougat or Nugget or Naga or Naga, whatever we want to call it. So here it is. That looks like some new wallpaper there. So I'm going to go into settings just to show you guys that I have it installed and it's working just fine on the Nexus, wherever it's at. Looks like they changed some of this. Not really. Okay, so there it is. About phone, Android 7.0. Definitely already looking a little different. Got some things going on here. So there it is, Android 7.0. Cool. There is, let's go down to the build. There's the build that I just flashed. So this is going to be cool. I'll play around with this today, see what that's all about. Now, one more thing before I go. I'm going to show you guys how to relock your bootloader real quick. Let's just 
go ahead and do this real quick. So go back into, well, I'm going to go back into the folder that I created where all my tools were, where I extracted everything and I copied everything into this folder. Okay. So we're just going backwards here. I'm going to hold the shift key down, right click, go in the command window. I'm going to keep my home screen on there, but here, all we need to do, we should be able to just type in our ADB reboot bootloader devices emulators it says no devices emulators found and the reason that is guys is because when you do this what you have to do let me bring the phone up and it's good that this happened because it's just a simple little walkthrough you have to go in and re-enable all that stuff again so let's just jump through that there it is go to about phone scroll to the bottom tap on that to your developer because you wiped it out it cleared out all the settings so you have to do it over Click on developer options. Okay, so in here, just make sure your developer options are on. Their OEM unlocking is probably grayed out because we are already unlocked. Scroll down, choose USB debugging, turn that on. And I'm going to get out of here. And it looks like there's a new type of symbol up there that says N, uh, USB debugging mode. Tap for more options and choose file transfers. Put this down. Let me double check here in the device manager. That I'm all good. Yep, all good. Still working just great. The device manager has something called the Google USB driver in. And you will get a message in here that says waiting on device. If it's not installed correctly. So ADB devices. There it is attached. Now we're going to run ADB reboot bootloader. That's going to boot the phone back into fastboot. Now what we can do, guys, is type in fastboot OEM lock. Now, before I click it, I'm just going to show you guys if you can see it. I know my cameras aren't the greatest. It says device is unlocked. What I'm going to do is click hit enter, and it's going to tell me it's going to want to erase and all that stuff. But we're going to continue. So there you can see now it went back to device is locked. I'm going to click start to reboot the phone and there you can see the lock's gone too. So there it is. I'm going to just close out of this stuff. That's the Nexus 6 then with Android Nougat on it. It's going to boot back up and I'll go in and play around with that. The bootloader's relocked, which you don't have to do uh, if you don't want to. If you plan on continuing to flash images and whatnot, I wouldn't even worry about it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and this helped you out, please click that like button. And share this video. Thank you guys for watching and you have a good one. See you guys.